Okay, good morning. September 22nd, Cottonwood Cove. It's 6.45 and I just got in the water. I left work at 4.30 and uh, well, I'm not the fastest person on the launch ramp, especially with this thing. So, but I'm all rigged and ready. So, and I'm going straight directly across. I just trying to decide which, I just figured it out. I'm gonna go up to this side of the tires, line this thing up a little bit. Here comes the sun. My buddy Tony's out here in a boat somewhere. He got a little bit of a head start on me today. But he's out here with another friend. I can't remember what his name is. But uh, he's out here somewhere. All right. We're going to head right for that. Because there's, I can tell right now, there's fish there. Because the whole river's glass. Except for right there. And that's right out in front of one of those coves. That's right where I caught that seven and a half pounder last week. Seven and a quarter pounder. But it was right there. And I'm seeing seagulls flying around, which is a good sign. Of course, there's none right above me. But I'm gonna go right straight across. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna go that way. And there's a Arizona Bay is over there around that corner. So I'm gonna just do a couple laps through here, see what pans out. Well, I'm like three hours into this and nothing. I'm seeing lots of this. And I'm not seeing anything over here. But this is kind of exactly how it worked out last week. And we're pretty much right here. Exactly right here. And it was just boom, boom. So I'm not saying that's gonna happen. I'm saying I really hope that happens. Kind of be awesome if that happened, but I don't know. Still very flat. No sign of any wind yet. As soon as it starts puffing, I'm heading that way, quick, fast, and in a hurry, because I have played this game being on the wrong side of this river when it kicks up, because it happens very quickly. I will just pull my line in and mash this thing down and, and skittly daddle over there. But I don't know, it's it's not even, I don't even feel any breeze at all. So hopefully it'll stay like this for a while. Just with more fish. All right, if I can't catch any fish, I might as well put up some cool footage of my surroundings. That's pretty cool. A cove that you'd think would be full of fish, but it's not. Very cool stuff. Oh, there's a cave up there. Oh, look at that. There's a cave right there, too. really cool. That's a big cave. Interesting. Watch this thing for a minute. That's pretty cool. All right, there's a better look at that cave. That's a big critter that lives in there. Or somebody. Anybody home? That's kind of cool. I 
thinking I know who this is. I'm betting a lot I know who this is. That's Tony. <laughs> he found me this time. We're about to see if I'm the only one that can't catch him. Where's the fish? Hold on, I'm doing the cardinal sin that I know damn well not to do. Did you catch anything? What? I don't want to talk too loud until we get closer. Okay. Yeah, the... Is the skunk strong today? The, uh, the end of the lake down there is pretty boring. We only caught about 35 to 6 pounders. There's, there's not, we kept 9 of them. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, not a great day. It's starting to get windy. Uh, been out here since I can't remember when I hit the water. A little after six, six thirty-ish. Nothing. Big skunk, skunk fest. That guy right there, fifteen miles from me. He's got a boat full of fish. So he's over there. Same water, just a different little location of it. But I was marking them. They're all over the place. They just weren't hungry here. So. That's Tony. And uh yeah, that's a wrap. So, you know the routine. Like and subscribe if you would. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging around. See you next time.